Ever wondered how to plan an epic seven-day itinerary? Well, this is your lucky day. Imagine this. You've got seven days, a fresh passport, and the world at your fingertips. But where do you start? The answer lies in a well-crafted itinerary. It's not just a schedule or a to-do list. It's the heart and soul of your travel experience, a roadmap to unforgettable memories. Itinerary planning is an art, a delicate balance of ambition and realism. It's filling your days with exciting adventures, but also allowing room for spontaneity. You see, the best moments often happen when you least expect them, in the gaps between your planned activities. So don't pack your days too tightly. Leave room for the unexpected. Start with a broad overview. Identify your must-see destinations and bucket list experiences. These are your non-negotiables, the things you'd kick yourself for missing. Then fill in the blanks. Look for activities and attractions that align with your interests and passions. Love history? Schedule a tour of the local museum. Foodie? Make a reservation at that buzzed-about restaurant. Remember, not all attractions are created equal. Some require more time and energy than others. Be realistic about what you can accomplish in a day and always factor in rest. Travel isn't a race, it's a journey to be savored one breathtaking moment at a time. Consider your travel companions too. What do they want to do? An itinerary should be a shared vision, a compromise that satisfies everyone's desires. So make sure to involve everyone in the planning process. Lastly, keep your itinerary flexible. Delays happen, weather changes, attractions close. A rigid plan can turn a minor hiccup into a major headache. So, be prepared to adapt and adjust. Remember, the goal is to enjoy the journey, not just tick off boxes. So, are you ready to dive into our epic seven-day adventure? Buckle up! Day one is all about settling in and getting a feel for your new environment. It's the first step in your epic seven-day itinerary, a day where you transition from the hustle and bustle of everyday life to the thrill of a new adventure. Imagine stepping off the plane or out of the car and taking in the first breath of air in this new location. It's a unique blend of the familiar and the unknown. The atmosphere is different, the energy is distinct, but it's inviting and it's waiting for you to explore. The first day is not about rushing headlong into a whirlwind of activities. Instead, it's a moment to pause, to breathe, to absorb the new surroundings. It's about letting your senses adjust to the new sights, sounds and smells. It's about transition and it's about anticipation. One of the best ways to start is by exploring the local area. Maybe there's a park nearby or a charming little cafe tucked away in a corner. Perhaps there's a bustling marketplace or a peaceful beach. Engaging with the local environment is like a soft introduction to the culture and the people. Now let's not forget about the local cuisine. Food is a language in itself. A delicious conversation starter that tells you about the history, the traditions and the love of a place. Trying out local dishes is not just about filling your stomach, it's about tasting the essence of a place. And then, after a day of gentle exploration, it's time to unwind, get a good night's sleep, let your body recharge, let your mind process the new experiences, because a well-rested traveller is an excited traveller, ready to seize the day, ready for the adventure that lies ahead. And as you drift off to sleep in your cozy bed, think about the next six days. Think about the sightseeing extravaganza, the cultural immersion, the outdoor adventures, the rest and relaxation, the shopping, the souvenirs, and finally, the farewell and reflection. Remember, the real adventure begins tomorrow. Day two, folks. It's time to get out there and start seeing the sights. The city is awakening, and so should we. There's a whole world of wonders awaiting us, and it's time to dive right in. Today, our journey begins with the city's most famous landmarks. These are the places that have stood the test of time, the ones that have been etched into the city's history and culture, and the ones that have given the city its unique identity. Imagine standing before these architectural marvels, feeling a rush of awe as you take in their grandeur. Picture yourself tracing the contours of history with your eyes, feeling the weight of centuries under your feet. There's something incredibly humbling and inspiring about being in the presence of such timeless relics. If you're interested in learning more about these landmarks, guided tours are a fantastic way to go. Knowledgeable guides can enrich your experience by providing insights into the history and significance of each site. 
They can weave fascinating tales of the past, bringing the landmarks to life in a way that's both educational and entertaining. But if you're more of a solo explorer, a travel app could be your best companion. With a plethora of information at your fingertips, you can navigate your own path through the city's history and culture. You can delve into the stories behind each landmark at your own pace, soaking in the details that interest you the most. Remember, sightseeing isn't just about ticking places off a list. It's about immersing yourself in the experience, soaking in the atmosphere and connecting with the city on a deeper level. So take your time, savor the moments and let the city unveil its secrets to you. What a day, but trust me, we're just getting started. The journey continues and there's so much more to explore. So keep your sense of wonder alive and let's get ready for another day of adventures. Day three is all about immersing yourself in the local culture. And what better way to do that than by delving into the rich tapestry of history, art and traditions that define the place you're visiting. Start your day at a local museum. These treasure troves of history offer a unique perspective into the past, showcasing artifacts, art and narratives that have shaped the community. Whether it's a grand national museum or a quaint specialized one, you're bound to leave with a deeper understanding of the local culture. Next, step into the world of art at a local gallery. Art is a universal language, a window into the heart and soul of a people. It reflects their joys, struggles, dreams and realities. Whether it's contemporary art or classic masterpieces, every brushstroke tells a story. If you're lucky, your visit might coincide with a local event, be it a festival, a fair or a traditional celebration. These events are a vibrant display of local customs and traditions, a living, breathing testament to the culture. Dance to the rhythm of local music, taste the regional delicacies and engage with the community. This is cultural immersion at its finest. But remember, immersing yourself in the culture is more than just visiting museums and galleries. It's about connecting with the people. It's about tasting the local cuisine, learning a few phrases in the local language and understanding their way of life. It's about respect and appreciation for the diversity that makes our world so wonderfully vibrant. Understanding the culture and history of a place gives depth to your travel experience. It allows you to see beyond the surface to appreciate the nuances that make each destination unique. It transforms you from a mere tourist into a mindful traveler. And that's day three wrapped up. Tomorrow we're going to switch gears a bit. But for now, take a moment to reflect on the rich cultural tapestry you've been woven into today. Rest up, because our journey continues. Welcome to day four. Today we're taking our adventure outdoors. As the sun rises, a sense of excitement fills the air. We're stepping out of the city's hustle and bustle, trading it for the raw, unfiltered beauty of nature. The great outdoors is calling us and we're ready to answer. First on the agenda is a good old-fashioned hike. Nothing compares to the feeling of the earth under your boots, the wind in your hair and the sound of your breath synchronized with the rhythm of your strides. It's not just about reaching the summit, but also about the journey the unexpected sights, the hidden trails, the spontaneous encounters with wildlife. These are the moments that make a hike truly memorable. Next, we are heading to a national park. We're not just talking about a few acres of green space here. We're talking about vast expanses of wilderness where every turn reveals a new spectacle. From towering trees that have stood for centuries to crystal clear lakes reflecting the sky, a visit to a national park is a humbling reminder of our place in this vast universe. Finally, let's end the day with a boat tour. There's something magical about being on the water, surrounded by endless blue. Whether it's a serene sunset cruise or a thrilling speedboat ride, a boat tour offers a unique perspective on the landscape. Plus, it's a great way to wind down after a day of adventure. Remember, these outdoor activities are not just about physical exertion, they're about connecting with nature, finding peace amidst the chaos and creating memories that will last a lifetime. So don't forget to take a moment, take a breath and take it all in. And that's a wrap for day four. Tomorrow we're slowing things down a bit. Day five is all about taking a breather and relaxing. After a few action-packed days of sightseeing, cultural immersion and outdoor adventures, it's time to slow down the pace and simply unwind. You've been on the go, soaking in vibrant new experiences, and now it's time to let it all sink in. Imagine starting the day with a leisurely breakfast. No alarms, no rush, 
Just the luxury of time. Savor the moments, the flavors, the tranquility. Next, how about a visit to a local spa or wellness center? There's nothing like a rejuvenating massage or a soothing therapy to soothe your tired muscles and refresh your spirit. Whether it's a traditional treatment or a modern therapy, the goal is to pamper yourself and emerge feeling recharged. If spas aren't your thing, consider getting lost in the pages of a good book. Find a peaceful spot in a nearby park or even a cozy corner in a local cafe. Let the words transport you to another world as you enjoy the serenity and the charm of your surroundings. Of course, lounging at the hotel is always a great option. Maybe there's a pool where you can take a leisurely swim or perhaps a sun lounger where you can simply bask in the warmth of the sun. Listen to your favorite music, catch up on your favorite shows or just take a nap. After all, this day is all about doing what makes you feel rested and relaxed. And as the day winds down, treat yourself to a laid-back dinner. Try a local delicacy or perhaps indulge in your favorite comfort food. Reflect on the past few days, the memories you've made, the experiences you've had. Remember, rest is a crucial part of any itinerary. Tomorrow we're back in action. So take this time to recharge, to rejuvenate, and to ready yourself for the next phase of your epic seven-day itinerary. After all, the journey is as much about the moments of quiet as it is about the thrill of discovery. Welcome to day six. Today we're hitting the shops. Shopping, especially during travel, is more than just an indulgence. It's an important part of the journey, a way to connect with the local culture and a means to bring back tangible memories. Whether it's a, a hand-woven rug from a bustling bazaar, an exquisite piece of jewelry from a quiet boutique, or a quirky gadget from a corner store, each souvenir has a story to tell. And it's these stories that you carry back home, sharing them with loved ones and reliving your travel experiences through them. While the allure of big brand stores might be tempting, we recommend stepping off the beaten path. Visit the local markets, explore the boutiques and don't shy away from haggling. It's all part of the experience. You'll be surprised at the unique finds waiting for you. Remember, it's not just about the souvenirs, it's also about the people you meet along the way. The shopkeepers, the artisans, the fellow shoppers, they all add color to your shopping adventure. Engage with them, learn about their craft, their culture and their lives. These interactions often make for the most cherished memories. So let's get out there and hunt for those hidden gems. Let's find stories to bring back home, stories that will make us smile every time we look at our souvenirs. And just like that, day six is over. Can you believe our journey is almost at an end? Day seven, our final day, it's time to say goodbye. As the sun rises on this last day, we are filled with both a sense of accomplishment and a twinge of sadness. Our journey has been filled with unforgettable moments, new experiences and connections that will last a lifetime. This is the perfect moment to pause and reflect on the journey. Perhaps you might want to jot down your thoughts in a travel journal, capture the essence of your experiences, the sights that took your breath away, the sounds that stirred your soul, the flavors that danced on your palate, and the people that touched your heart. Maybe you'd want to revisit a favorite spot, that quaint cafe where you had the best coffee of your life, or that serene park bench with the perfect view. Go back, sit, and soak in the atmosphere one last time. Imprint those memories in your heart, as they are the souvenirs that no money can buy. Savor these final moments. Take a moment to be grateful for the journey, the experiences and the memories. The truth is, every journey changes us in some way. It expands our horizons, enriches our souls and gives us a new perspective on life. And that's a wrap on our seven-day itinerary. What a journey it's been. Let's take a moment to recap our epic seven-day adventure. We started off by unpacking the art of itinerary planning before diving into the journey itself. Day one was all about arrival and unwinding, setting the tone for the days ahead. The following day, we immersed ourselves in a sightseeing extravaganza, discovering the hidden gems of our destination. Day three took us on a cultural immersion, where we explored local traditions and cuisines. Outdoor adventures awaited us on day four, pushing our boundaries and adrenaline levels. The fifth day was devoted to rest and relaxation, charging us up for the shopping spree on day six. We wrapped up our journey on the seventh day, bidding farewell to the place and reflecting on our experiences. Remember the best itinerary is the one that makes you happy. 
So go out there, plan your own adventure and make some unforgettable memories. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel tips and tricks.